Hi, uh, so just as promised in the blog post, here is my thicker storage. And if you are just finding this through YouTube, look down below and you'll find a link to my blog. So this is my thicker and a probably about, I would say 75% or so of my Alpha Sticker, Alpha Sticker storage. So over here is where it starts and See in the front, I have the Lily Bee, which I've cut into the individual colors. You know, they come on a 12 by 12 sheet, and I think there's eight, maybe? Eight different colors per sheet. So we start off there. And then with just some various other, and I do apologize for the lighting. I had to wait till my son went to bed to be able to shoot this. Uh, I do have some various thicker or sticker sheets, some basic gray, all of my October afternoon mini markets, sticky keys, basic gray alphas, uh, jelly bean soups, you know, glitz, doodle bug, chaos memories. Yeah. And then we start thickers. These are those, by the way, since I haven't mentioned it, these are the big, uh, the wider magazine storage. I saw this posted online and it's, I mean, it's so, so perfect. So, and the way I have mine organized <laughs> is kind of weird. But it works for me. I don't know why it works for me, but it does. Uh, the way I tend to look at thickers are, first I'll say I want a color. I want red thickers. And I know the different spots that I have red thickers. For instance, if I had plain, I don't have any plain red. I don't have any plain red. But I can say, okay, I've got red thickers here that are glitter if I want something flashy. Or I can say, no, I don't want anything flashy. Uh, but I do want something that's printed. So I've got some various red thickers that are printed back here. And that's the way it's broken down. I have my white up front. And white are great because of course you can recolor them to any color you want. And then I have what I call my planes. So we start in with off-white, like natural color, and browns, blacks, silvers, grays, uh, my very favorite thickers ever, and this is the Lullaby. And I do fold down the tops because I find it makes it easier to just flip through and to be able to see what I have without the top flapping and kind of getting in my way. So these are the whites and then solids. You know, everything here is solid. It's very plain. And that's kind of how I view it, I guess. Because I can say, I need this color. I don't want anything flashy. I know to go over there. Then over here, I start my glitter, and I do start with the more neutral colors first, like whites, silvers, blacks. Uh, so those are first. You know, ten, tends to be, if you can't find a color that'll match, something like this would work. Then you go into all of my colors, and they're just broken down blues, reds, uh, greens. And then I go into my printeds, and in the beginning are more everyday types. So, you know, cork. This has actually got a grid on it. This came out with Crepe Paper's Little Boy Blue. Little Boy Blue, I think is what it's called, collection. And then some of the Amy Tan that have, you know, that slight, uh, it's got that wood grain look to it. More Amy Tan, more Amy Tan. She's good at, <laughs> she's very good at the different uh, neutral thickers. You know, matte print, newspaper print. So those are all neutral and can go with a variety of different things. Then you go into the, it's their little harder to use thicker section. So I start off, this is like the most neutral. Oh no, I got these actually out of order. Okay, so starts off, for some reason I have brown or black up front. So I have my different printed blacks, cream, white, doesn't matter. I just want the blacks printed together. Then I go into all of my browns that are printed. So all different kinds of brown thickers that are printed. The blues, and then we go into all the different colors, the reds, uh, yellows, greens. So that's kind of how I look at them and how it's easy for me to figure out what I want. I had previously had them set up in these categories, color categories, but I had them in several different places because nothing could actually fit them. So these are working perfectly for me. And it's easy to just flip through, find what I need. And for some reason, this 
crazy color category and then broken down into further into a little easier to use glitzy and then down to printed that are a little more hard to use that seems to work for me so anyways just thought I would give you a overview of it and show you what my sticker storage or thicker storage is like now like I said this is not all of my alpha stickers uh, such as like October afternoon comes on the big 12 by 12 sheets so I have those with my October afternoon products and different uh, companies like Echo Park will do alphas but they'll also have things like uh, label stickers and whatever with them so I don't want to cut that apart because I like the label stickers and everything on there and I don't really have a place for the label stickers when I, if I cut them off so those won't go in here for now it's just things that are only alpha sticker sheets that like the lily bee that I could cut apart into those little color categories or like the KI memories sheet here there was two more on the side but they're in here they are right here those are that flashback KI memories flashback collection so they're in there so it's whatever I can easily cut apart to put in here and it won't really affect anything else because there's no word stickers or label stickers or just general element stickers along with the alpha on that sheet. I want to keep it together. Maybe when I use some of the elements I might feel better about cutting it apart but right now right now I'm, I'm keeping those separate and if I ever figure out a good solution for those I'll show that as well. Bye!